three, two, one, and press ups. So just letting your chest come down to the floor between your hands and then pushing back up. In with press ups, it is a core exercise as well. So try not to just drop down through the arms, try and let your whole body come forward. Okay, so you're basically doing a press up plank hold the whole time you're doing the press up. 15 seconds left. Again, guys, today's program is designed as a home workout. Okay, there's not lots of barbells or equipment, it's just the old bit that you can grab around the house. So next exercise is going to be bicep curls, okay, both arms. So if you have got a couple of weights, perfect. Or even a single weight you can just hold together and both hands coming up, you know, a bag or something like that is absolutely fine as well. Just see what you can find around your house. And we're starting there. So just curling up and trying to be rigid through the rest of the body. Just try and just work from the elbows. I'm curling up, so I'm bringing my palms in to face me. Okay, so as I'm coming up, palms face it in. If you want to do just hammer curls, that's absolutely fine as well. Okay, or if you want to do, again, full curls where you're supinating at the forearm, that means bringing the palms in together. Or if you just want to do regular, keep the palms up the whole time, again, that's equally fine as well. So lots of variations there for you. Okay, number three is going to be bent over row. So bent over and then rowing the weights back. Okay, try not to slouch and slump. Try and bring your shoulder blades back, hips nice and strong, and then row the weights back into you. Okay, get them ready. And there's your time. So squeeze back, the weights down. So it's a bit of an isometric hold. Got the hips and lower back. At the same time, you can work different muscle groups. So the further forward you are, the more you're going to be getting some of those rhomboids, muscles between your shoulder blades, as you angle your body forward. Five to go. And elbows wide. And then weights coming down there. Okay. Number four is going to be shoulder press, the so weights be coming back over. You're just going to press straight above your head, slowly come back down. Okay. Again, you can do this in standing, guys. I didn't see it, so you can kind of see what's going on. There my arms. So weights start just above the shoulder. Okay. Or again, bend up your flexibility all the way down to the shoulder. You're just pushing up and above the head. Again, if you really don't have any objects in the house you can grab, or even your water bottle, then just push up above head. Think about pulling your shoulder blades back together and drive up above head. If you've got bands equally, use those. Step on the band in the middle and push the two ends above your head. Otherwise, find a couple of weights and press above head. That's three, two, one and zero coming down there. Okay, next is gonna be staggered push ups. We've done these before. So you're gonna have one hand high, one hand low. Okay, come down into the push up, switch the hands over, come down into the push up. Okay, in two, one and zero. You're gonna split the hands, come down, other hand comes up, other hand comes low, come down, again, switch. Switch, and come down, and again switch, switch, and come down. Again, the new inversion is exactly the same. Switch the hands, and bring the chest down to the floor. Switch the hands, chest and tummy, down to the floor. And switch the hands, chest and tummy, down to the floor. So you're actually leaning forward into the push-up. Not just doing a arm press, okay? Not just triceps. Working core and chest up well, leaning forward. That one, okay, that's staggered push up number six. It's gonna be our wall angel. Okay, so coming back against the wall. So if you need any equipment for this, again, if you don't have a wall, just think about pulling shoulder blades back. If you were doing this outside or something, 
Oh, you've got this hard break. And you're pushing up with the arms. So you come down, try and resist the wall, push back in through the wall the whole time. So it's elbows back, forearms back, hands back. And squeeze into the wall and slowly bring elbows back down. Push against the wall and drive up. Think about pinching pencil between shoulder blades as well. Pull the shoulder blades back together. Drive back into the wall and push above head. And again, pushing up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And slowly coming back down. And last one through and coming off the wall there. Well done. Another shoulders exercise next. Okay, so that's kind of shoulders and upper back. Shoulders next, lateral raises. So you will need the dumbbells again. Big shoulder movements, so deltoids, isolating those. Hands to your sides and then raise out to the side. Okay, up to kind of head height. Slowly come in, back down. Drive out to the side and slowly come back down. And several variations of this. And if the weights feel heavy, bend the elbows and then go up. If the weights don't feel heavy, straighten the elbows and come up. It's really easy, you can do a full kind of above head and then a really slow decline phase. So slow tempo, full range all the way through. Otherwise, just up the head height, coming back down. Okay, that's lateral raises. Number eight, like the bent over row, we're gonna have that kind of lean forward first. We're then gonna be doing a tricep exercise, a tricep kickback. Once the elbow's in place, imagine there's a pin going through the elbow and it's locking it there. And then you're just working through elbow. So no kind of shoulder swings like this. Okay, elbow comes back. And we're starting there guys, kickbacks. So isolating those triceps. Try and squeeze and hold for one second and then come back in. Squeeze and hold one second, come back in. That's good. And last one there, coming up tall. Okay, so that was your tricep kickback. Number nine, it's gonna be our decline press up. So now you're gonna need feet on a surface behind you. And we're gonna go for a decline, so you're facing down, your angle down, decline push up. Okay, coming up there, guys. And come down. So we're just biasing slightly different fibers in the pecs. Doing more kind of upper chest and shoulders. And again, you can again drop to the knees, kind of come down, but then obviously you're coming into more of a knee and push up. If you can, guys, straighten out, playing the angle. To take weight out, you can bring more of your weight onto the chair or sofa. Flatten the legs and then come down, okay? So it's actually a nice exercise to do off the sofa because you can decide how much weight you want to push on. The other way of doing it is with a stability ball, okay? And you can either have the feet on or come up to the knees with a stability ball. Next one, we're on the floor on your front. It's the prone raise, okay? So lie flat on your front, arms back and reach overhead. Then elbows back, hold, and then reach back overhead. Elbows back and hold. And reach back overhead. From there, good stuff. Next, we're going to be doing our towel press exercise. I've got normal towels in here, I've got pillowcases. You can even use your t shirt, okay? I'm just going to use a tea towel. What we're going to be doing arms up, row in, press above head, 
the hind head, okay? Up and back. So just press forward, pull the tail apart the whole time, pull back, drive up, behind the head, push up, back to chest, push forward. So press, row, press, behind the head, press, and down. Press forward, and row the whole time you're trying to rip that towel in half, pull, the towel apart, okay, forward and back, up and behind the head, press up in front of the head, forward and back, okay, and that should really give you a big burn on the shoulders there, so that was your towel press exercise. Next we're going to do an isometric chest squeeze, you can grab an object for this, in fact I can use the dumbbells in here, I just want you to push the dumbbell in, you're trying to crush the dumbbell, as hard as you can. Do it with any exercise, otherwise it's hands together. Push your hands together as hard as you can, okay, for the full 40 seconds. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing the hands together. If you've got an object, push that object in, crush that object. Imagine you're trying to crush a can. How you mean a can between your hands? Keep pushing. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. The more you push into it, the more of those chest fibers you're working, the more muscle strength you'll be gaining. Keep pushing as hard as you can. And in terms of long time, long term, sorry, athletic strength, you're going to want more than isometric exercise, but again, just a nice way of working the chest. Keep pushing during a home workout. Okay. Isometric chest squeeze. That was front raises next. You can hold a dumbbell at the two ends, okay, or your weight at the two ends, or you can put both together. I'm going to go both together and add a bit more weight. And you're just going to be doing a front raise up overhead, slowly coming back down in front. There's your timer. Weights up overhead, slowly down in front. Up overhead, down in front. This is one where you can grab a backpack at the handle, put some books, bottles of weights in, and lift the bag overhead. And the bag will swing a bit as well, so it really starts to test your shoulder stability a little bit more than say a cable machine, or just holding a weight in your hands. 15 seconds to go, slowly coming down. If you want to feel what's going on at your shoulder blades, you can lean back against the wall. Are they winging out? Can you keep shoulders pulled back as you lift overhead? Just another little cue there for you. Well done. So that was number 13. Well, lucky number, number 14 is going to be our walkouts. So lots of upper body strength, single arm strength. You're going to walk out onto your hands. Okay, when you get to the bottom, I want you to go for a push up. Okay and walk yourself back up. Okay, so walkouts and push-ups. Okay, so two and one with this. Walking the hands out, press up plank, full press up, walk yourself back up. Lots of upper body strength, lots of different muscles working on this. And again, a lot of shoulder stability required. Push from one arm out onto the other, especially the further you get out. And you can really push yourself up nice and quick work those arms so as soon as you've done that push up drive 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 stand up nice and tall and then come back down into your next repetition pushing yourself back up and there's your 20 seconds off again guys grab some water make the most of having a little break in between whatever round again 30 40 seconds off just like we do no other classes, and then we're going to be going for the second set through. Activity completed. So water if you want it, a little break. And then we're going to be doing the same structure. So you know we're starting with press-ups, bicep curls, and then the bent over row. Again, guys, this isn't HIT or morning cardio. Some of the classes we have on, so we'll have a little bit of a break in between, let your muscles recover, and again, work nice and hard for those 40 second blocks. Okay, so bog standard push ups to start with. We've got your press ups in here, your staggered press ups, decline press ups. Uh, isometric chest squeeze as well, so plenty of kind of chest exercises. 
If you do want to add any little variations in, you kind of press up and leans to one side on this first set and go for it. Otherwise, bog standard push-ups, we're going in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And again, there's your time. Push up, drive through. Push up and drive through. Driving the floor away from you. Okay, so you've got kneeling push-ups, you've got wall push-ups, would be a regression, a progression would be full push-up, or leaning push-ups to one side. Okay, so a few different variations that you can easily just make on doing floor press-ups. Again, try and get your forehead, your chest, and your tummy down to the floor at the same time. So lean, then press, okay? Try not to just do through the shoulders with the movement. Number two, guys, is your bicep curl. Okay, so grabbing some weights, or some resistance bands, or a barbell, kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever you've got. And I'm gonna be going for a curl up. So the wrist is kind of rotating 90 degrees. So I'm going from a hammer curl position here, and I'm curling the wrist in as I come up. Okay, in and up. So you'll see that little twist, turn of the dumbbell at the end. Curl and turn. It's so our reflection and the forearm is supinating. So supinating, palms are coming in. The opposite to supination is pronation. Okay, keep the dumbbells in hand. Number three, it's gonna be bent over dumbbell row, okay? You can, again, if you're at home, use resistance bands, or you can do a bent over um, kettlebell row, or bent over barbell row, depending on what equipment you've got. Bring them forward, and again, bent over dumbbell row, is obviously just holding weights or dumbbells in the hand. And then driving the elbows back. Think about pinching those shoulder blades back together. I'm gonna to keep strong through the hips as if you were gonna do a deadlift, so try not to arch the back. Keep the back strong. Lift the weights back. Keep facing forward or just in front. Try not to look up too much. And then coming down there. Okay, well done. Again, keeping those weights. You can do standing shoulder press next or seated shoulder press again, 10 seconds, okay? We're working the deltoids next, the shoulder muscles, and also triceps, so three muscles in the back of the upper arm. Weights up and press with head. People always ask, should I touch the weights together? Does it make a massive difference to be honest? As long as you're getting that kind of full elbow extension, but as you're working through the full range of the joint, it's absolutely fine. Maybe you get an extra little squeeze if the weights tap together. But I really won't worry about it too much. Worry about getting the elbow straight and increasing your weight over time that you do for a certain amount of repetitions. That's what you should be focused on once you've got good enough form to straighten the elbows up ahead. Coming down there. Okay, number five, back to the floor exercise, staggered push-ups. Okay, so where we split the hands apart, push up, okay, change over, push up. Getting ready, guys, come down to the floor. Again, you've got your kneeling version or your full version. I'll start off kneeling. And again, split the hands, chest down, split the hands apart, and chest down, split, split. So you can also come wide with these as well, nice and wide with the arms. Really test your chest strength. So as well as going vertically far apart, you can also go horizontally far apart. Just load up the chest a bit more. The narrower you are, you're gonna get more of an elbow bend, therefore the muscles that attach into the elbow, triceps are gonna be working a bit harder. If it's triceps you want, a bit narrow, if it's more chest work you want, Go wide. And last one there goes, well done. Okay, 
Number six, back against the walls. Okay, we're going from front to back. And we're working our postural exercise, our wall angel. Again, I'm doing it in seated, you can easily do this in standing, it's no problem. Hands up. Okay. And drive up. Keep that squeeze. One thing I notice myself when I do this, our ribs flare out, okay? I'm having to almost arch my back to get my arms against the wall. I'm quite tight in the front of my shoulders. That's why if you can get your back flat and still keep your arms on the wall, well done, very flexible. Probably got good posture as well, as long as you can hold it there over time. burn on the shoulders with that one. Coming off there, shoulders again next. This time we're isolating the shoulders, isolating those deltoid muscles. So muscles you feel actually on the shoulder. We're going lateral raises guys. Arms to the side and again flapping your wings out to the side but control it. Don't drop the weights, lean forward drive up, okay, just slowly, 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 drive up just above head, slowly come down. If you want to do a full circle for the lat raise above head, and so that might have to be fine as well. If you want to add tension, always just come down to this point, there, then go straight back up. That's really difficult, okay. If you want a short rest in between, you bring your arms all the way back down. Just tap your pockets and drive up. Tap your pockets. And try that. Again, just giving you a few pointers on some variations there. Start with your lateral raise. Okay, number eight, we're going to be using the weights again. Again, think about forward at the hips first, elbows cemented, and then we're doing the kickback exercise. Getting ready, guys, leaning forward, getting into position. And then again, elbows tucked in, and then straighten the arms. Bend the arms, not the shoulders, so don't come forward. Keep the elbows where they are. Kick back, back to here. Kick back, come back up. Kick back, come back up. Again, if you've got no weights at all, not even a water bottle handy, don't worry too much. Just practice the movement. Okay, or you can always resist the movement with the other hand. Or push back into a wall, push back. Okay, and do the isometric version. And come up there. So that was your kickbacks. Okay. Next is our decline press up. So get your feet on a bench, on a step, on a chair, on the sofa, or on a stability ball. The stability ball is really useful because you can a you test your balance a little bit, and b you can change how much weight you put through the arms. So with this, I can kind of get the shins down, take a little bit of weight. Out the push up, and then I'm just doing push ups as normal. Decline press ups. time there. Well done guys, difficult one that is. Next we're doing the prone raise, so you lay on your front and doing a bit of a shoulder press, okay, but keeping shoulders pulled back and arms up the floor the whole time. Going in four, three, two, one, back and reach forward. Feel the heat coming through the window as I touch where the sun's coming through. It's going to be a very hot today. 
Very hot day today, I think. 15 seconds to go, okay. A little breather. Next we're doing our towel exercise. Just getting hold of your towel, your tea towel, your pillowcase, whatever you've got, okay. Remember it's press first, so push forward. Starting there, push forward, pull back. Above head, behind head. Above head, front of your face, push forward and pull back and repeat. Above head, behind head. Shoulder press, slow it down. Push forward, pull back, shoulders burning now. Drive up, keep looking ahead if you can, behind the shoulders. Push up, and forward, and then track forward, pull back. Above head, behind head, and over the top there. Break in between, well done. Okay, next is gonna be our isometric chest squeeze. You can use a towel, try and crush that, or you can use a weight, okay? Depends how much width you want on the exercise. If you don't have any equipment, push against your own hands, okay? Starting there, guys, big squeeze. Push, 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 push. Really try and crush that way. Again, you can do it in seated or standing. Keep pushing. And you're almost feeling that kind of shakiness as you try and control the weight and hold it in front of you. Keep pushing that weight in, keep trying to crush the weight. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Push, 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 push. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And bring the chest, uh, weight off your chest. Keep pushing there, bit of a different contraction. And then coming down there. Okay, so even isometrics at home, guys, you can get a good strength workout there. Okay, number 13. Again, my lucky number, front raises. You can grab two weights, you're gonna raise them up over your head, okay? The weights in front, or holding the kettlebell. Do the ones the kettlebell raise those weights over the front, over the front of you, sorry, and then slowly come back down. All the blood's in my shoulder, in my brain. Got all those little, above head, slowly coming down. Weight to the head, steady coming down. Good. Going to progress any of these exercises today, guys. You can add a little bit more weight, okay? Or practice the single arm versions as well. Then around 40 seconds of exercise on each block. Again, you can set timers or you can do repetition based when you do them in your own time. Your last exercise, guys, can be the walkout with push up. Those weights I'm using are 2.3. Kilograms each, okay, I'm 95, 96 kilograms. So again, you don't need a lot of weight, so you get a good upper body pump, a bit of a bit of cardio workout involved as well. Getting ready guys, set the feet. Feet are stuck in the mud, okay, they stay where they are. The hands move, walk you out, do a push up, walk yourself back up nice and tall. Feet are still stuck in the mud. Walk the hands out again. And then you're gonna do a push up, walk yourself back up. If you want to make it harder, you go on chest and triceps, what will you, will you do, what you do at the end, just go for a double. So one push up, two push up, walk back up. If you want to know how you're doing, walk out wise, you just add one each time, so then you can do one, two, three, and walk back up. Just keep going. Get a bit of a challenge, work your way up to ten to start with, and then take it from there. Guys, stand up nice and tall there. Pull the shoulders back, nice deep breath. Like I said, there's a 